well hello there and welcome to the second episode so as you can see we've become pretty well off so off camera i've been doing a lot of cow crashing over here then i planted the reeds no sorry not reeds sugarcane all around this little pond we have and yes the little farm here and there had to go but we have this well i would like to call it a mega farm but it isn't and uh i don't know you could call it a super farm i guess i'm not sure uh it's 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 a super farm yes it's a super small super farm now that's what i'm calling it i'm sticking with that so yes it's well it doesn't look like it's highly efficient but it is how well i've been alternating the crop types all around and it is said i am not sure i have not seen this personally okay fell well, okay um but it is said that these crops grow faster when they when a different crop is next to them for example potato carrot and wheat then again potato carrot wheat so none of these crops have the same crop type on either side so it is said that they grow faster no one knows if they that they grow faster but or is it even worth it but it looks cool and that's fine that's better so guys uh, yeah so you see we have quite a lot of stuff over here and yes we have a composter as well because we get an awful lot of seeds man i don't know what to do with them so might as well get some free board meal so i've been preparing to start building the house but i still got a little bit of resource gathering to do uh, to mainly to farm oak all of the wood types is pretty much there so i'll show you the chest in which i've been collecting it so yeah we have quite a bit of stone as well i think this much should be enough some of it is melting this little in this yeah i knew it and yeah i have some in my inventory as well keep that in and of course this yes i got it a diamond pickaxe the i made it down the mines and not on camera because is mining for some stone and while i came across a lava a lava uh, not a lava pit yeah, a lava lake you could call it i'm not sure and other underground ones and Well, I thought okay, that's a pretty good opportunity to get some obsidian, which should be here. So, guys, I think it is time. Time to make what? Well, okay, I'm missing some stuff. Well, let me quickly get those. Well, for those of you who don't know what the time is, well, it's time to make an enchanting table. Now, for those people who've played Minecraft before, you know that the enchanting table is one of the most important things to get. And well, we're doing that right now. First, we got to make some paper, something like that. Then a book which requires leather. That's why I made that. Other than food, it also served the purpose of getting leather. and yes we got it we have it okay. i'm not sure where to place it exactly i thought that okay i haven't thought of exactly what's going to go in here and well i think we might as well put this here and be done with it so Let's see. Center one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Okay, no, we, no, we can't put that there. It'll become annoying. And two, three, four. Well, yeah, we can't put it anywhere. Let's see. Um, for now, I'm not placing it down. Um, I shall keep it inside my valuables chest, obviously, with all the all my other valuables. 
And yeah, you people tell me in the comment section where do I keep it. All right, after this episode and next episode, we shall place it down. But for now, um, I'll go back to gathering some resources and I will meet you all when I start building. Well, what's going to be my house? Yeah. And guys, we have an issue. I was just going to chop down that tree, but look who decided to show up. These guys. I think let's take care of them, shall we? But let's just sneak up here, take a bit of iron, take this, and well, I will make myself a shield because this shield is going to be very useful yep yep one down three more to go okay Yeah, get in the pond. So yeah, this can be pretty bad sometimes. And just keep def as long as you keep deflecting their arrows, you're pretty good. Let's take the one on land. Okay. Go back, eat food. And Yes, water, right? Yep. And we're done. Okay. That's very swift. So, so now, let me just dump my water here. Let me replant some of the sugar cane. And I'll go to my cows, take some milk, drink it, and well, the effect's gone. For those who don't know what effect I had, I had something called Bad Omen. So you get it by killing those. So those things are called pillages. So you kill them. And especially the one with the banner on there. Well, behind their head or on their head. I'm not sure what, where exactly it is. But yeah, you kill them and then you get this effect known as Bad Omen. So what happens with Bad Omen is that when you enter a village, which is pretty close by in my case, something known as a raid starts. Now, a raid is basically those bunch of guys and a little bit more. So we will be doing a raid in some time. Not now though, because we are pretty poorly equipped. And once we, once we have enough equipment and... Uh, well, once we also have a pretty good village because I don't want that village to get destroyed by a raid. So, yeah, th that's why I will not be doing a raid in this village because it's too close by. So, we'll be going to another village later. Not now, not now, obviously, later. And we'll be doing a raid. So, look up with that. But it's going to be some point far away in the future. Anyways, back to wood, wood chopping. Okay, so we've done mining all the wood over there. As you can see it's a big forest. And yes, I've cut a bit from there. And we have a lot of wood. Yeah, we have a lot of stone as well. Some leaves. So just for decoration here and there. And the different. So we have, we're going to be using this block, the tough block, a little bit. Because it looks very similar to andesite and cobblestone. At least that's what I think. Um, well, yeah, <laughs> I'll be incorporating that as well. So first, what we're gonna do is to make life a little easier. We will start by building the frame of the whole build. Now, what do I mean by frame? I mean just the outer structure of the build. We are not gonna be filling in anything 
inside or we're not going to be filling in any walls so we just create a so-called supporting structure of the whole build so that it becomes a little bit more easier for me to just come in in one, sw one fell swoop and just fill it in with all of this and this and this and this 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 etc etc you get my point so now let's get into it done that we've made the outline it's pretty boring so far just the main structural part of the whole build like I told I'm not filled in anything except that floor over there because but I don't want to fall through down and for fall through down and then kill myself and also for the sake of convenience because I have my sort of mini base with the two crafting tables that I got accidentally yeah forget that along with the, my bed now what i'm going to do is i want to now start fill slowly slowly filling in the inside of this so what i mean by the inside is i want to start filling in the walls pretty much and all these gaps in between now why do I say inside because I am going to make the walls on this block so one layer in so what that does is it adds a layer of depth which really enhances the whole look and feel of the build this is going to be done here it's already been done in the basement it's going to be done on the top floors as well yeah. So first we'll start off with this this floor over here so what what is our intention so first what I usually do this is my process I just fill it in completely with one type of block now that's very plain so then what you do is you pick out some random blocks and you replace it with some other blocks that you have in your inventory so in my case I yeah, have put some stone let me just quickly go grab some other blocks that I know for sure are here yep this 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 of course stone so I'll take these so you don't have to put all these blocks all these different kind of blocks in every place you can but it's not needed and such then the next question how do you choose which blocks look to good together well that's really your choice you can may you can use absolutely any block you want to but one recommendation would be to use blocks that have similar color okay wait now what's happened here is I've made a lot around this window but I've not done anything here since here I'm planning I think I'll put in a stone block and there that seems a little too unnatural I think I'll do the put in another tough block yeah so you got to use textures that are really similar 
to one another. Now, what I mean by similar is the color is similar, rather. Sorry, the colors are really similar. For example, stone and andesite are pretty similar, but andesite has this texture on top of it. And that's why they. That's why it adds in a little bit of interestingness, if that's a word. <laughs> Well, it makes it a little bit more interesting to look at as opposed to just that plain old boring stone brick wall. There's nothing wrong with stone bricks. Please don't get angry. But well, we want the build to look a little interesting, a tad bit interesting, not too boring. So what you do is now you repeat the process again. So I'll do it once again for this side. This side, I'll leave it. So just fill it in with any block absolutely absolutely any block you want to then well in my build at least i have a window here so i can get rid of those two blocks so in that case i did not do that i, f I forgot <laughs> um so you be so you can't place anything over here is going to be whatever glass or it's going to be empty or trap doors whatever you're going to place down here so you can't do anything there. So what what do you do now? Again, is just randomly pick one block, and well, just place in whatever you want to. So you rinse and repeat this process for. But you do this quite a lot of times now because there are a lot of walls in this place. So. Yeah, I'll see you all once I'm done filling in everything over here. So yeah, we done the walls. We filled it in with glass as well. Looks pretty nice from the inside. Looks equally as good from the outside as well. So now what we're gonna do? Let's just do some basic oh god my inventory is a mess i need that so we're gonna do is we're just gonna do some basic decoration so okay no <laughs> yeah, something like this little flower pots as well as okay Manning in a lit for a little depth, we're gonna be putting in fences here all the way across the build. You can see that, right? You can see the effect that's created by just adding the fences and the bushes. So what I'll do is I will quickly do one side, one face rather on camera with you guys right now and you so that you can see the difference because now you know how it looked before so we can now quickly we can quickly see the effect that happens or occurs rather when we do this so now this well, it might seem like a little bit of extra but safety first I just don't fall off the measures for that and well we gotta make it look good but well, when you're building you wanna make a build look good but be functional as well so in this case you might think that me adding the slab on top is useless why, why am I doing that well first it looks good second it stops mobs from spawning there so it's a win-win situation, sort of. Okay, so I have to make a little bit more fences. A little bit more, not a lot. Okay, where are the fences? I cannot see the fences. Wow. Okay, now they're here. Okay, just extend this bit by bit. And here as well. Put this. And you can see the effect that it's created in such a short period of time. 
And what have we done? We barely placed a few blocks. Look at it now. It's it's a, it's making the build so interesting, and it's making it really stand out from the surroundings as well. It was before. It was very grey because the the foundation or basement you could call it is grey. Then this is grey. So to break it up, if you use, if you use spruce wood and spruce fences, it looks really nice because you're adding in a bit, you're adding in a new color, you could say almost, to the painting, and it's really become marvelous. So now we are done with the basement and we're done with the first floor. Next, we gotta do this floor. Now for this floor, well obviously this is going to be completely filled in with stairs all the way till here. And for the walls, I have thought of using stripped oak logs, not, not, not the log variant, not the pure log variant. And yeah, that's it. So what I'll do is I'll quickly fill this in off camera and then actually you know what? No, I'll not fill in this. I'll not fill in this as well. So I'll I'll do a little bit more work. I'll first put you know, put the stripped oak all around this to make a nice wall. And then I'll fill this floor in with spruce planks and then I'll fill in the roof as well so so that you can see the whole build in its full glory. I'm, I'm pretty sure that you people are also getting quite bored of just watching me do this. So yeah, I shall see you all in a bit. Finally, the house is okay. Okay, it's not done yet. Final thing, one final thing. Yeah, now it's done. Pretty much, not not done. Really, you can see filled in that area. We have roof. Uh, we have a roof on top now, but this it looks a little bland. So it's a little samey, and uh, uh, that's why. What? What? The next step now is to add detail. Now. When I mean what I mean by detail is I've talked about this earlier in the video as well. Detailing is pretty much this: adding fences, then this, there's a trap. Obviously, I'll do that later. Then adding these fences, then adding these bushes. This all adds a layer of depth and effect. So that's why what I got to do now is do something similar to this there there and then i also got to do some changes to the roof line cause okay i'm not far enough okay i'll just tower up with dirt if you see that those two roofs are touching each other which you do not want so that's why we have to change that the upper part a bit because you can't do anything to the lower part so yeah so this is how 
we we gonna add effect and this is how i usually do it with all my builds i get this structure in place so the main structure in place so that i know exactly what we are looking at so this is the house if i don't do it so not don't do anything barely do any detailing so this is how the house will look so now since we have the main structure in place the detailing part becomes a bit easier so yeah now what i'm going to do is i will do a bit of detailing and then yeah we'll see the house in its full blown glory and hopefully when I meet you all, I would have moved all of this stuff inside there. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, look who decided to show up. What? Oh god, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, okay guys you can turn away nothing to see here absolutely nothing uh, oh he disappeared give me two leads oh nice very 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 nice oh, I wonder where he went off to nice bloke that guy good to hang around with what was where he went off to? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was a fun detour, but now back to work. So, guys, we are done with the detailing. We've completely finished it, at least for the outside. I think I still got to do a bit of detailing on the roof over there. As you can see, I'll zoom in. I've changed the roof up a bit over there because these two were touching each other. And it, well, apart from that, like I was saying, I just added these everywhere with a few of these lanterns. Oh yeah, man, I added these dangly bits here as well. And that's what I've done. That's all I've done. And it looks pretty good. It's funny how f such little detailing can make such a big difference and such a significant difference. So yes, detailing is important. When, whenever you're building, you got to detail. It's okay if you detail very little. Like, this is very simple. It's just fences, a bit of leaves, trap doors and well, you're just hanging lanterns from the fences. That, that is all. Nothing else. So it is pretty important that you should detail. Oh, this is where we had a little incident, didn't we? Okay. This is similarly the same behind. And yeah, it's pretty much the same everywhere, but it still looks so much more better. Well, I had told that I would move all of this inside over there when I meet you guys. But I am in a bit of a dilemma because I was trying to figure out where exactly would things go. So I was seeing that uh, where would it make more sense to put maybe a storage system or maybe what do I do with this floor? What do, what do I do here? And then when I move up over here, what do I do with this floor? Then this part of okay, I didn't mean to do that, but fine. And then obviously, finally up here, this place is also pretty free. Okay, there's a stair missing. That's fine. Yeah, so I was trying to figure out what I do, and. That's why I didn't move those things here. Otherwise, it would have been a pain. Because we would have moved them here. And then later on, I'm pretty sure I would have decided that, okay, you know what? 
I do not like it being maybe here where I am right now. Like if I, let's say I just put the chest over here. That'll look disgusting because there are windows here. So yeah, so I thought that maybe you think it's something that I have to think through and um, not mess around with. So yeah, so this is my plan so far. So after thinking for quite some time, more time than I admit to say, but still, I feel that this area over here should be a storage system thing like not storage system it's, it's just going to be a bunch of chests which we'll have to manually sort and organize that's that's fine though it's okay it's not such a big big deal yep so i think yeah we'll go with that so we'll have our chests maybe here and then we'll have a few facing like this so if you have a few here we'll have to skip this and put a few here as well and then same here till maybe yeah this will be the last block and then we may maybe we can change around the floor over here a bit to make it look like it's a different part of the house overall so we can maybe put barrels down on the floor then have stairs here so we can put another additional layer of chests so that'll look good and it increases the efficiency of the storage system that's a, that's my storage system thought out pretty well everything else you ask blank i don't know here you ask me i i don't know i'm not sure what i have to put here so i was thinking but no no uh, nothing came in my head though so this this area is a blank and this area over here is also pretty much a blank so this big space here god knows you can do whatever you want to with it i think i'll figure out something and then i'll show it to you this place here looked very well for a kitchen very 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 well so now I'm, what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a wall here to signify that this is different section of the house altogether and the over here will be well a small kitchen a tiny one not big not not very big so maybe we'll have something here then some cabinets and yeah so it looks pretty good very nice kitchen and you can see out quite a bit and there's a lot of light as well so that's not going to be an issue that's going to be the kitchen then with, with the wall. Just imagine there's a wall over here. It'll make more sense. Now here, what we're going to do is, I think we're just going to put in some basic furniture, like bookshelves, maybe that, that sort of thing over here. And uh, maybe not bookshelves actually, maybe just yeah we could put a dinner table over here right, right here or no yeah i think yeah that makes sense we can just put a pretty big dinner table right next to the kitchen although yeah although i do agree that it's at the entrance of the house it makes the most sense that that and that are connected so it might be an inconvenience we can just jump over it it's fine It'll look cool as well and it'll occupy this whole space. You don't have to worry about it. And then this, this is going to be the bedroom. There's absolutely no doubt. This is begging to be used as a bedroom. There is absolutely no doubt about that. On there. Here now. This one. Oh, okay. This is open. Now it's close. So here, I was thinking about uh, maybe a living room type thing because this room suits that. Stone down there did not suit that. So that's why I thought maybe uh, this place over here so we can have a maybe a small table over here with some few chairs around. 
and some bookshelves here and here maybe a maybe a plant or the bush and a few leaves and then one with the fence or there I can show it to you okay I don't have that now so you can do something like that and what else can we do um, you have a painting here nice little painting uh, I think that should sort it out it'll be pretty good look good see here is that you can come get your guests over and chill Finally, this this place. Now, this place, uh, I do not know what's going to be here. Again, so this is again empty space. So for now, let it be like this. That's what I've been thinking. Like if something does strike my head eventually, I think this will be the place to put put it. Because I like having one extra place empty. Because maybe, maybe, if we run out of storage down there in the basement, we could sh create an additional layer of storage over here. So I think i leave this place free for now. Let it be empty. But eventually it will not. I'm pretty sure about that. It will either be taken up by storage or some other thing that I want to do. And yeah, that's, that's my plan for now. So yeah, this will not be there. And... Imagine that as a storage system. Yeah. So there's a lot of emptiness. A lot of emptiness. For example, for starters, the basement. This pretty big chunk is going to be empty for now. Or wait, you know what? Yeah, I think, yeah, this makes sense. I could replicate one storage system over there as well. Now that'll look good. Yeah, that look, that look good, that look good. So I'll have more storage, and it'll look better. Okay, nice. And then this area here. Huh. Let's see. I'm not sure. We just create some some sort of cellar with some barrels here. Yep. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. That sounds foolproof now. Okay, so now we only have one place that's empty, and that's that's the. And what I call it the roof I guess I'm not sure forgot the attic yeah that's the word that part there empty which will be full eventually but yeah so I'll start with some things and then I'll come back and I'll show it to you all look at that guys we finished it we're done we have the house, we have a chimney, and we have some detailing done on the roof. That's all, we're done. And, like I said earlier, all of this here is inside there. Now, well, I've done a little bit, I've done actually a lot of off camera work now. So, this, we have this path here, leads up to the mining area which will also get its build in the future don't worry it's not going to be that pit not in a pit actually just a two two by one hole over there so don't worry about that no or one by two sorry yeah one by two <laughs> hole there then i made an attempt to make a bush not a good one obviously but an attempt in the very least at the very least sorry pardon my english i've been playing for quite some time <laughs> sorry <laughs> so yep a bush attempt was made it's okay it's fine forget it i might not keep it so let's see now next inside the house well this floor is not my favorite although there's nothing else i could think of let's made this dining table and a small seating area not something I like but I really didn't have anything else in mind over here because well this place is literally empty space and that this is better so something is better than nothing at least our kitchen area which is pretty good delightful uh, we 
have a crafting table then chopping board iron sword my old iron sword rather and piece of meat we have oven we have a grill on top of which i shall put detector rails later on and then we have our exhaust three hoppers and we have this as well this you could call a pipe an exhaust pipe that leads up to the firm not the furnace <laughs> It leads up all the way to the chimney up there and we have a bunch of cabinets and of course a fridge now down well this is my favorite part because a well, lot of chests all of which have been sorted according to whatever specification I needed and I've left some space as well so this is going to be for the nether nether when we get into the nether which well I'm not sure when but it will happen soon so don't worry about that and well don't forget to check it out as well and here we have everything sorted over here as to my specifications obviously so yeah but we've ended up using only this much of the storage so far and all my stuff is fitting in i'm not sure if this is ever going to be used but we'll see we'll see well eventually i will end up with a lot of stuff so i am confident that at least this area is going to be full so i don't mind that being an aesthetic but i don't think it's going to last for a long while though now upstairs we have this the living room and a TV and of course this pressure plate was supposed to be a gaming console but it isn't just imagine it is but yeah then we have our speakers which I'm pretty sure are going to absolutely destroy my ears when I listen to them but anyways moving on to the bedroom pretty bland absolutely nothing uh, just a lectern which doesn't even have a book in it and yeah that's about it pretty bland <laughs> upstairs again like I told you guys I'm leaving it empty for the time being if I get an idea I want to implement it over here but obviously for decoration or for some useful purpose god knows we'll see so guys that is all for the episode today we've done what i wanted to do in the second episode was to just finish up this build over here and well it's been it's, a, it's been a pretty long time <laughs> actually since i've been playing it took quite a lot more time than i expected but then again this is how things are in the building world detailing takes an awful lot of time and building itself is not such a big issue it's just the material collection that causes an issue but if you have the materials it's pretty easy like i did i had all the materials so it was pretty easy for me anyways that wraps the episode once again i'm gonna say that so thank you so much for watching if you like the content of this video please smash that like button and subscribe for more well more is on the way every sunday i shall be releasing a new video 8 am ist so don't forget to check them out okay and yes last but not the least tell me rather wait <laughs> make this a little bit more better tell me where you want me to place the enchanting table do you want me to make a build or do you want me to place it somewhere else so i am more leaning more towards making a build maybe like a visit tower somewhere over there or maybe there I don't know, I'm not sure about the final location yet, but it's not going to be happening now. So for now, I might place the enchanting table somewhere else. 
maybe outside over here but it will happen in the near future okay so we forward to look to that but not not now or not now though not in the present so yeah okay I'll I guess this is goodbye so bye guys